Shut up and sit down. Hello YouTube, welcome to my channel, I'm the Guru. Thank you for watching. Uh, this is a quick follow-up video about the spinners that I was making using the Maker Geeks Maker Box February Fidgety uh, challenge that they presented. So I have printed a vast number of these fidgety fidgeter things um, in the Maker Geeks uh, Maker Series PLA, in the Maker Geeks um, Crystal Series uh, Maker Geeks PLA, and some. Uh, very inexpensive inland uh, PLA that I got from Micro Center. I was able to finally get the uh, printing to work properly. I will show you this is the first one I got to fit properly. Um, it works wonderfully from a fidgety spinner sort of thing. I printed, ended up printing this one. This is the inland series of PLA in pink or hot pink or whatever it's called. Um, it, this is 102%, 102 102.3% uh, 102 on the size, um, and I still wasn't happy with the fact that I had to fidget with the size because this center um, bearing here uh, is kind of loose, and these guys are just jammed in there really tight. I actually had to use a vise to get them shut down. So um, today, this evening, I printed this guy. This is, uh, again, the Inland Series um, PLA. I have not had a chance to print with the Maker Geeks. PLA, but I, uh, based on my experience, I think it's going to turn out the same way. Uh, I printed this at 100% uh, size and a 100% extrusion. I had previously been printing all of these at a all of these at a 1.2% extrusion or 120% extrusion um, because the, um, uh, the the Prusa was under extruding and I uh, I was getting bad results in some regard. Uh, so turns out when you print this at 100%, um, this bearing fits uh, very nicely um, in the part. If I can get it to snap in for you, I'll show you. Um, you can see it slides in very nicely. I'm not going to push it all the way in because I'm going to put it back in the pink one. But uh, the key thing here being that uh, I didn't really think that the uh, over extrusion that I was doing to compensate for the under extrusion uh, was, would actually affect the sizes as much as it has. And so this is actually exciting to me because I was really disappointed thinking that if I ever had to print something in PLA that was dependent on some tight tolerances that I would have to continuously dork with the size um, and get it close enough and it would never line up and blah, 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 blah. Now you can see here, uh, if I can show it to you, um, there is some under extrusion. Uh, you can see uh, on the top up here, where is it up here? Uh, there is some under extrusion a uh, little bit, so I would have to, you know, play around with the settings and simplify D to uh, 3D to do a little extra extrusion on the top. The bottom is actually fine from what I can see because it was on the print bed. It mushed down real nice. So, uh, but look, this is a spinner. Uh, I don't care if there's under extrusion on the top. I just uh, I was more concerned about the fact that the PLA I thought was expanding, shrinking, and um, you know whatever your perspective is, and it, it turned out that it, it's not the PLA. It's me in the printer. So uh, that's good. Um, I'm excited by that. So um, I hope you like this quick follow-up. If you uh, enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. As always, if you didn't, um, I would appreciate a thumbs up anyway. Um, please subscribe. I think it's going to be over there. Um, and I'll link uh, over there uh, the video, uh, the original video, so you can uh, watch that if you want to see that. Thanks, everyone. Have a great night.